Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. I just want to just talk about generally um, about the issue of respect in debate and discussion with other believers or other people of different persuasion. Um, I was a bit disturbed in the Saiten Brugge and Matt Delonte debate where there was a lack of respect and it was quite aggressive from both sides mainly from the atheist side but it was aggressive either way and I just don't think that's conducive to debate and discussion I think we have to show respect also um, I saw a Google Hangout yesterday between an atheist and a Christian and they were at each other's throats calling each other names and whatever and I just think that's not conducive to debate and discussion. When you're in a debate or when you're in a discussion with someone of a different persuasion, if they're not showing you respect, it's best to walk away. But if they're showing you respect, then you need to be respectful. But even respectful, even if they don't show you respect. Otherwise, it's not going to achieve anything. So, when I'm out on the streets preaching and evangelism, evangelism, I will generally show people respect. If someone is just trying to be mock and whatever, I'll just ignore them. Um, now there are videos where I've made where I've rounded on atheist, and I'm I will call out stupidity where stupidity is. You know, if people are being stupid, if people are not doing the scholarship that they need to do or whatever and I'll call that out and I'll state that and I'll be quite strong about it but if I meet individual people whether in Google Hangouts whether in live debates or whether it's on the streets I, I want to be respectful and I think res being respectful is the best way to be and uh, if you can't be respectful then don't talk to that person just walk away because it's not going to be induced conducive to discussion anyway I was quite flabbergasted yesterday of the, the debate that I saw between this Christian and this atheist. I was quite shocked at the harangue of, the, of both of them and I just thought it's not conducive, it's not going to achieve anything. I'm as guilty as anybody, I've done it in the past. Um, so I, I mean I'm not, I'm not saying I'm whiter than white, I've failed, I've made mistakes. But I've come to realise it's better just to be chilled out and relax and, and, and just show people respect. You don't have to win them all the time or anything. You can listen to what they have to say. You don't have to win all the arguments. So people out there on the Google Hangout channels, try and listen to each other. Try and be respectful. And the same goes for when you're doing your evangelism. Just be respectful. It says give the answer to your faith and be gentle. Um, I do give you some tough times as atheist, but I think you deserve it because you don't listen and you're not doing the scholarship that you need to do. So you need to be called out on that and you do get up to things that you shouldn't be getting up to. Uh, but generally speaking, when I meet most atheists or most Muslims or whatever, I'm very, very respectful. I treat people with gr the greatest of respect. Same goes for gay people anybody of a different race, anybody of a different religion, you will find that if I meet them face to face, I show them the utmost respect. When I'm online, I might be strong, I might say things that are quite radical, I might be quite strong, but you meet me face to face, I will be a gentleman to you. Because that's, that's the way we have to be. Alright? Thank you for listening. Take care.